I'm Bishop Thomas Daly of the Diocese of Spokane. I'm also a member of the Washington State Catholic Conference of the WSCC, the public policy voice for the three dioceses and five Catholic bishops across the state of Washington. As we prepare for the November elections, I want to talk briefly about the role of government according to Catholic teaching. In our faith, all political authority exists to attain the common good, which can only be achieved with the contribution of every citizen. Every individual and family should be able to lead a fully human life. Political institutions exist to protect the sanctity of life and make available the material, cultural, moral, and spiritual goods necessary for a life of dignity. In this way, government assists in ensuring the ability of all members of the community, including the minority, to achieve the purpose for which God created them. This does not mean the government should provide for all human goods. Legitimate government allows communities to address their needs at the most local level, recognizing the ability of those communities to accomplish common goals together. This is known as subsidiarity and recognizes the initiative, freedom, and responsibility of participants in any society. For example, if people living in a neighborhood recognize the need for public spaces for people to gather, they can seek private donations and petition the city government for a park. Current examples facing our nation include the need to secure and protect the border. The U.S. bishops recognize the right of a sovereign state to control its borders in furtherance of the common good. Another issue might be the care for God's creation. Again, the bishops of the United States, States explain that protecting the land, water, and air we share is a religious duty of stewardship and reflects our responsibility to born and unborn children alike. A final example might be religious liberty. The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches the right to religious freedom and freedom of conscience is based on the very nature of the human person, whose dignity enables him freely to assent to the divine truth. Protecting religious freedom, our first and most cherished freedom, offers hope and encouraging witness to those who suffer direct and even violent religious persecution in countries where the protection is far weaker. These are just a few issues where government action is necessary for the common good. Our teaching also holds that government intervention should only last as long as absolutely necessary. Whatever level is making decisions, the preeminent consideration must be the promotion of the dignity and sanctity of the human person including the ability of each person to contribute to the community. I thank you for listening, and I encourage you to please vote and ask God to guide us, to form our conscience, and to serve him and his people. God bless.